stage of the season, a lot of teams are still trying to figure things out, Mike. How long does it take to know what kind of squad you've got to work with? Just looking at the roster before the season, a coach has a sense. But it's now, when the games finally count, that you start to identify what your true weaknesses are and what needs to be worked on. Now here's Peyton. Passes it to McMillan. Jacks up a three. It's deflected. Out of bounds. Supersonics ball. Seattle keeps possession. It's shrimp on the wing. Over Russell. The offensive rebound. Johnson. And Johnson with the stop. Really strong put back from underneath that time. Yeah, good luck, right, Clark, when he has the ball in his hand. Exactly. They love his determination down there. Now, here's Stockton. He feeds it to Hornacek. Goes up from the top of the key. Rebound by McMillan. The Supersonics have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Johnson kicks to Payton. Johnson against Malone. They get it back. And it's Kemp slamming it down. Showing off his strength and vertical. Kemp loves getting after it on the offensive glass. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Stockton looking around. Gets Hornacek on the wing. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Gary Payton. Hey, sometimes you just got to take a foul. That's the best way to protect the basket. Yep, better to send him to the line than allow an easy layup. And that one falls for Hornacek. And Hornacek is known for his unique free throw shot routine. He rubs the side of his face before shooting as a sign of saying hello to his kids. And he's making them count at the charity strike. No surprise there. Now, here is Shrimp. His last outing, 16 points for him. Got some space in the mid-range, but wasn't able to convert. Still, not a bad chance for him. And out of bounds as the Sonics gain possession. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Camp with a screen for Peyton. Upside Camp. It's Shrimp on the wing. And stolen by Russell. Stockton outside. Nailed from three-point land. Yeah, Brian Russell is a shoot-first player, but he's also very unselfish. Did a nice job with the read and made a good pass. It's Shrimp on the wing. Over Russell. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. And I like how versatile he is on offense. Capable of burning defenses in so many ways. Utah has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Stockton against Peyton. Launches a three. Stockton can't get it to go. I think that's how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. You're right. Anything less than lockdown defense on him will result in three points. You can count on that. Malone with the block. Good to see Malone working hard on the defensive end. His team appreciates that type of effort. And they recover it. Here's Stockton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. This is his first free throw of the game. Free throw good, Stockton. And Stockton drops them both. Tell you what, if you let me pick just one point guard to run my offense, man, you could not go wrong with John Stockton. He might be my first pick. He's a prototypical textbook point guard. Now, here is Shrimp, and it's in there. Shrimp's got his second bucket of the night. Clearly, he's found his rhythm early in this one, looking to score whenever he can, whenever he has it. And this team encourages him to be active on offense because they understand how dangerous he could be. Here's Stockton after the Sonics pick up two. Over Pete. A putback. A rebound by Johnson. 
And so for Seattle, their last game a loss to the Suns. They struggled, it seems, from the start. Never really found their footing, but towards the end, I thought they got into a flow and almost won it. The team thought their energy improved down the stretch, but too many mistakes overall. Just wasn't their night. Now here's Peyton. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Phoenix. Knocks down the three ball. Going on the attack, Peyton goes up at the arc and takes an accurate shot. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Here's Stockton. The Jazz with another miss. And right now, I think he's ready for this quarter to be over. I don't know if I've ever seen him this cold. Rough quarter indeed. Inside. And the jam by Carl Malone. Watch out below. It's the mailman. The Supersonics have gone just a shade under 50% for the field. 5 of 11. Peyton drives in. Trying to get open is Johnson. Peyton, good. Peyton's got five now. Let's get another look at that drive we just saw. You can see the determination from him. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Now, here's Stockton. He had ten points in the win against the Pistons in Detroit. Here's Malone. And it's sent back by Kemp. Tough to get a shot over the rain, man. Rejected there. And Peyton gets it to go on the assist by McMillan. Peyton's got his third basket of the night right there. Jazz trail by six. Stockton left side. Nice shot from the wing. The Supersonics have gone 7 of 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. Here's Peyton. Here's Shrimp. Nice ball movement by Seattle. Outside, Kemp. Hornacek against McMillan. Second shot opportunity and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Malone. And Kemp plays with a real ferocity, which in turn draws the defense's attention. Antoine Carr, he's checked in for Greg Ostertel. And then for Seattle, Perkins is checked in for Johnson. Snow comes in for McMillan. And Hawkins subbed in for Peyton. Seattle calls timeout. So Kent nails both of them. This is what makes him tough. A big guy who can knock him down from the strike. Jazz trail by six. Outside Russell. To the inside. Malone. And the jam by Carl Malone. The flush. Malone is another level athlete. Seattle has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Kent. A shot, no good. Nice defense from Malone. The Jazz shooting 31% here early on. Not getting the shots they'd like. Russell with the bucket. 
Malone, an outstanding passer at the power forward position. He's got really good floor awareness and has a really good understanding of when to get the ball to the open man. Here is Hawkins following the three-pointer by Utah. Passed again from downtown. That left Shrimp, and that's good. Shrimp's got seven points. One of the best ways to respond to a trifecta, knock down one of your own. You fight fire with fire. Match them up. Now, here's Stockton. He's got seven. Hornacek, no luck. Kemp deciding where to go with it. He dishes it to Perkins. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Boy, they got lucky on that one. Yeah, he's an incredible three-point shooter. So you are ecstatic any time it does go in. It's good. Boy, I love watching Stockton share the ball. He does it with such a plum. He's unselfish and always looking for the open man. Screen by Perkins. Driving to the basket. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That was an easy call on that shot. The refs will call that one 10 out of 10 times. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group. Keith is checked in for Malone. Anderson comes in for Russell. Juan's checked in for Hornison. And Isley subbed in for John Stockton. And Seattle also making a change. Pierce is checked in for Kemp. Now here's Anderson. Here's Carr. That one a little long. Now there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Here's Pierce, and he jams it with authority. Mm, and <laughs> the defensive effort like that, that's why they're trailing. Exactly. Oof, you have to meet the offense's physicality. And they <laughs> did not. Yeah, because when you don't, this is what happens. They throw it right down in your face. And he gets the bucket. Seattle leading by four. Here is Hawkins. His last outing, he had eight points. Screen by Perkins. Shoots the three. The shot by Hawkins, no good. That was absolutely his shot to miss. Plenty of room at the arc, all set up. Just couldn't get it to fall. Here's Isley. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Detroit. Here's Carr. Plays it up and banks it in. And now, just a two-point Seattle lead. Making his living in close. Carr is someone you have to deny the ball. And for a guard, the vertical he has is off the charts. Oh, man. Does this guy love taking flight or what? So fun to watch. And the crowd gets a kick out of seeing someone at his position hammer at home. There's the pass to Carr. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. Love the physicality from Carr in the interior. Mixing it up with the defense and drawing a good foul. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Supersonics. He doesn't get the second one. And pushing it up, here's Seattle. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, I love the quiet and unselfish attitude of Snow. He's somebody his teammates not only respect, but follow. And so, Snow nails both of them. Jazz trail by five. Here's Vaughn. No points in the game yet for him. The tried and true alley-oop play. You know what, like most guys would have gone for the slam, but he just lays it in. Nice. Either way, he got it done, and two points is two points. Here's the screen. It's Pierce on the wing. Fires the three. Good on the three-point shot. Pierce has got five now. He's a fantastic facilitator. He could virtually run a team in his sleep. 59 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Isley. He's covered by Hawkins. 14 feet away. Carr, no good. I think he'd go for the two for one. We'll see. Depends on what coach wants to do. Perkins on top. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Here's Pierce. Here he goes. Rebounded by the Jazz. And the defense was ready for that. 
They know he's a threat at the rim and swarmed him on that layup. Here's Vaughn. He's covered by Snow. It's blocked. Now Hawkins. The three. No good that time. And so it's the Seattle Supersonics with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be back with you shortly. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And before we move on, guys, what do you think about what we've seen so far from the Super Sonics? like that the bench mob showed up early in this one, generating some valuable offense for this team. It's such a luxury to get that kind of production from your reserves, and it takes a lot of pressure off the starters. Now, here's Peyton. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Here's Kemp, and Kemp with the slam! A vicious dunker. Kemp is truly awesome. Whenever he takes flight, special to see him do his thing in the air. To the middle, here's Hornacek, and he lays it straight in. Hornacek's got his second bucket of the night. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And so Peyton will bring it up for the Seattle Supersonics. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Utah. Here's Kemp, and Kemp slams it in. Yeah, and Kemp is well known for his dunking ability. I mean, you have to keep him out of the paint or he's going to posterize you. Looking at the last game for the Jazz, it was a win against Detroit. Here's Hornacek. It's hauled in by the Sonics. McMillan's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Kemp. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And, you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. Their offense looks superb right now. They can't get careless with the league. And so far, this hasn't been the case. The Jazz making a switch here. Stockton's checked in. And Seattle also making a change. Wingate's checked in. Kemp with the steal. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. And stolen by Malone. And here's the fast break. Malone leading the way. Johnson with the defensive effort. Aggressive move. That's an easy two points most of the time. Passes to Kemp. And it's Kemp slamming it down. Kemp keeps putting up the points. Tonight, it's been all about the rain man. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Hornacek for three. Another miss by Utah. Sonics leading by 13. Here's McMillan. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. Gets the three-pointer to fall. I love how they've embraced their status as home wreckers here. Looking very confident on the road. They've come into this arena and made it their home. That's how strong and assertive they've been so far. Utah calls timeout. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. Taking a look at Seattle, they're in second, looking to take over the first spot. And, of course, there's Utah, two and a half games back. Malone dishes to Russell. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. That's the kind of look you're working towards. Nice play. Peyton looking it over. Johnson right side. He's looking for Kemp and finds him. Shoots over Malone. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Malone. Sean Kemp is relentless, and as a result, he's a double-double threat every night. A real force in this league. Two shots. And so Kemp nails both of them. 
And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Stockton against Peyton. Here's Hornacek. That shot off. And as the Sonics taking it the other way. The Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Malone with the block. Stockton with it. Now Peyton defending. Here's Hornacek. Peyton gets the rebound. Seattle with the ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Kemp finds Peyton. He takes it in. Malone with the block. Stockton passes to Ostertag. Back to Stockton. Over Kemp. Offensive rebound. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Greg Ostertag getting physical there, taking it right to the defense and earning the trip to the line. The Jazz have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. Both good from the line that time. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Peyton. It's tipped. They retain possession. And then Johnson with the dunk. Jazz trail by 16. Now here's Stockton. Seven points in the game. Up top, Hornacek. Trying to break that ice cold streak. He can't hit that time. And it's the Supersonics taking it the other way. On the wing, Peyton. Kemp. And it's Kemp with the jam. Oh, I love watching him flush it home. Showing how easily he can get off the ground and bang it. And so Stockton will bring it up for the Utah Jams. Outside, Russell. Back to Stockton. Another miss by Utah. Sonics on offense. They're on an 18-6 run. Outside, Kemp. They double-team Kemp. Pass to McMillan. Fires from deep. And another three for Seattle. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Jazz trail by 21. Pass to Hornacek. And that one drops for him. Hornacek's got his third basket of the night. Even amongst the trees inside, Hornacek still able to find his shot. Johnson sets the screen for Peyton. And it's blocked. That's out of bounds. Seattle will retain possession. The Jazz making a switch here. Cars checked in. Nick Millen passes to Kemp. They double team Kemp. Top of the key, Peyton. Five to shoot. Seattle needs to get off a shot. And now they're just one foul away from being in the bonus. Expect to see them attacking more now. McMillan. Utah has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Ball's knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. That's exactly what a team needs when they're playing from behind. Energetic defense. Perkins, he's checked in for the Sonics. Seattle on defense. Carr with a screen on Hawkins. It's tipped. They shoot again. Carr, no good. Sonics leading by 19 points. Here's Peyton outside for Kemp. They double-team Kemp. Here's Vaughn. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Stockton. Peyton gets the rebound. 
For Seattle, they've gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter, well above the 50% mark from the field. Kemp passes to Perkins. Yep, that one goes. You know, usually Kemp's passing game is low-key overlooked, but this is a quality feed here. And here's Stockton. He's got seven. Trying to find a way out of this rut, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Good on the shot. Well, he's got five points so far. A well-timed feed was the catalyst for that bucket. That's how you set someone up for success. Utah foul call. Antoine Carr. For the Jams. Keith is checked in for Ostertag. Anderson comes in for Brian Russell. And Isley subbed in for John Stockton. Snow is checked in for Seattle. They double team Kemp. Perkins for three. And it's Carr with the rebound. Carr's got four rebounds now tonight. Isley the pass to Carr. And the dunk by Carr. What a show of force by Carr. No one wants to get in his way. Sonics leading by 17. Hawkins with it. Inside. And it's Perkins with the jam. One-handed, threw it down with power. Oh, he loves that move. An iconic one for him. Jazz shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Here's Vaughn. He's covered by Hawkins. Here's Carr. And Utah again with the bucket. Taking what he can get. Carr doesn't have to go inside to score. Hawkins passes to Perkins. Here's Kemp. Not going to go that time. And it's Utah the other way. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. You talk about an impressive road, Doug. They were fantastic in a very tough environment. And that shows how mentally tough this group can be. Took the crowd out of it and delivered a well-earned win. Got to give some love to the point guard, showing that guards can throw it down, too. Oh, yeah, these backcourt guys can jam it with the best of them. Oh, they absolutely can. There are some serious rises at the lead guard spot. Carr with a screen on Snow. Isley the pass to Carr. A second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. Carr's got 11 points. Boy, that time Carr staying aggressive, fights for the rebound, and then also fights to get the shot off. Kemp kicks to Hawkins. Nice ball movement by Seattle. Shrep Hawkins. Lock at six. Tries to the hoop. And he dunks it down. Hawkins, being such a great jump shooter, sets up the drive. 122 left here in the second. Here's Vaughn. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Carr sets a screen. Vaughn, the pass to Carr. And the shot goes in. Yes, that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Timeout is called. First to the game for the Supersonics. Russell, he's checked in for Anderson. The Supersonics also with the sub. Pierce is checked in. vertical right there. Enjoys getting inside and showing you he can bounce to the rack too. 54 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Vaughn. Russell high post. The fadeaway. Seattle grabs the miss. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on you. Here's Snow, into the lane, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. What a gritty player. Eric Snow loves and relishes the contact. The Jazz making a switch here. Malone's checked in. Utah's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's Isley. 
Steps back and shoots. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, I think you got to foul him harder than this because he's really smart at figuring out how to score through contact. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. In their last game, he actually made these shots look routine. Yeah, he was really making it hurt every time he got sent to the line in that one. Tries again. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. The Sonics on top. Utah team Running away with this one. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. A fantastic game from Sean Kemp in this one. Tell you what, he had his own solo dunk contest. Throw down after throw down in this one so far. Making a statement. I own the paint. Try to stop me. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. The pass to Russell. To the paint. Here's Malone. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got three assists tonight. Yeah, like the touch from Malone inside there. I mean, one of the most accomplished scores in the game, without a doubt. Pass to McMillan. Here's Johnson. Here's Shrimp. Malone with the block. And they get it back. Jazz trail by 20. Stockton outside. Oster tag is screen on Pete. Stockton dishes to Hornacek. Just five to shoot. And Gary Payton is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And so it's Utah here with the ball. Here's Hornacek. Yeah, Nate McMillan shows really good defensive chops and savvy. A tough player to get a clean shot over. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Jazz. Stockton outside. From the arc, got a piece of it. Out of bounds. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Three on the clock. Russell from long range. Here's Malone. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. Seattle leading by 20. Shrev passes to Johnson. Malone against Kemp. Kemp with a screen for Peyton. Outside for Kemp. Pass to McMillan. Let's it go from deep. Good, and it's Kemp who picks up the assist. Kemp's got four assists in the game. He's shot a lower than average volume tonight, but his efficiency doing it has helped them build this lead. And Gary Payton is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Second team foul. Seattle on defense. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. You know, the defense Gary Payton brings to the table is high-level special. He works hard to alter every shot he can, always in good position on deep. There's the drive. Or that is a bucket, number five on a five for 11 night. His hot streak continues. Night after night, making his presence felt offensively. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Stockton passes to Malone. Over Kemp. And it's sent back by Kemp. 
Stockton against Peyton on the wing. Johnson. There's the dish to Kemp. Outside, Peyton. Kemp a screen on Stockton. Peyton attacking. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Challenging the defense on the drive. Peyton does a really good job drawing the whistle on that attempt. Wingate is checked in for Seattle. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Utah here with the ball. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Another miss by Utah. Here's Seattle. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Johnson at the elbow. Out to Peyton. Johnson sets the screen for Peyton. Pass to McMillan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Nate McMillan is one of those guys that just provides outstanding leadership. A capable scorer who also rebounds, passes, and defends pretty well. In for the Jazz. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Peyton on the double team. Keith passes to Hornison. It's deflected, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. Shrimp cover. Just five on the clock. And the basket by Malone. Malone's got eight points. The Supersonics have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Now the pass to McMillan. No good on the triple. Not what we expected at all. He normally has that shot down cold. Especially when he's got space like that. Very surprising. Back to Stockton. Nice ball movement by Utah. Here's Malone. The rebound by Peyton. Peyton's got four rebounds in this game. Down low, Johnson dishes to Shrimp. Back to Johnson, and there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Utah's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. It's Hornacek on the wing. Rebound by Wingate. He's out there just forcing it. Terrible mindset to have with the way he shot so far. There's another block. Hornacek outside. Trains the three-pointer. 11 points in the game. Perhaps the signature shot of Hornacek, the pull-up. Difficult to defend. Here's Peyton. It doesn't go for him. The Jazz go the other way with it. Here's Russell. Shrimp gets the rebound. Shrimp's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Peyton against Doc. Peyton passes to Shrimp. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Hornacek against McMillan. There's the three. Hornacek, no luck. And you can bet he's going to keep taking these shots. Even though he missed there, that's not going to shake his confidence. Shrimp a screen on Stockton. And the first time out of the game called 20, for Seattle. 20. A chance here for the players to get a much-needed break, catch their breath, and for the coach to make some adjustments. Yeah, he saw something out there that he wants to change. We'll see how it plays out on the floor. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Antoine Carr, he's checked in for Malone. Anderson comes in for Russell. Vaughn's checked in for Hornacek. And Isley subbed in for John Stockton. 
Big group substitution here for Seattle. Perkins, he's checked in for Shrimp. Pierce comes in for Wingate. Snow, he's checked in for McMillan. And Hersey Hawkins subbed in for Gary Payton. Here's Perkins, fades away and sinks the tough shot. Perkins got his third bucket of the night. Accurate mid-range shot from Perkins. The defense really has to respect him everywhere on the floor. Utah's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Moves back up. Vaughn can't get it to go. Here's Seattle. They're on a 14-5 run here. Passes it to Snow. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, Snow goes fishing and gets the whistle. A very savvy play. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Supersonics. And so, Snow nails both of them. The Jazz shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. Here's Isley. He's covered by Hawkins. Isley the pass to Carr. Feeds it to Pierce. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Pierce has got seven points. Keep doing work inside. Close range looks like that will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. Pass to Carr. Now here's Anderson. Tipped away. Five on the clock. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Here's Vaughn. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Nine times out of ten, he probably misses that. But somehow, he found the way. And here's Hawkins. Ten points for him. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Twelve points for him. A guy with Hawkins' accuracy can simply kill you from mid-range. That's a money shot for him. Here's Vaughn. Rebound by the Sonics. Two minutes remaining in the third. Hawkins Two with minutes. it. He's got 12. Kicks to Perkins. Snow against Anderson. And Anderson slams it in. Turning defense into emphatic offense. And Clark, we might see a timeout coming up here. For sure. Yeah, that is the definition of a momentum play. His team is fired up right now. Perkins for three. A shot off that time. Utah has gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. <laughs> Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Snow's quick hands on display there, snatching the ball and quickly igniting the fast break. Oster tags checked in for Keith. 122 left to play in the third. Here's Isley. He's covered by Hawkins. Pass to Vaughn. Here's Isley. Shot clock at five. Out of hand on it. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. Sean Kemp, he's checked in for Johnson. Sean Kemp. Shot clock at three. And here's Anderson from the arc. Kemp with the rebound. Kemp's got rebound number seven for him tonight. goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. An explosive leaper. This guy has bounced for days. Kemp beating the defender there with that big time vertical. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. The pass to Carr. Over Perkins. And once again, off the mark by Utah. Snow, the pass to Pierce. A three-pointer off the mark. Passes it to Vaughn. Here's Isley, covered by Perkins. 
And it's sent back by Kemp. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Kemp. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. To the left side wing. Ostertag pass to Isley. Here's Carr. Solid defense from Perkins. Hustling and doing whatever he can to distract Lobuda. And so it's Seattle. With a 34-point advantage heading into the break, they've been playing some inspired... And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Right wing, Wingate passes to Askew. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. And it's Kemp with the jam. A textbook screen creating a big-time opportunity. You know, he certainly makes Dudney Clark the most of everything. When you've got the chance, you have to take it. He held nothing back. Pass to Carr. Now Anderson, covered by Wingate. A nice shot by Anderson. I like the pass there from Carr. Outstanding job scanning the floor and finding his open teammate. Anderson's gone three for four here from the field. Palmer passes to Burkowski. Here is Wingate. Upside Kemp. That one's not going to go. And it's Utah the other way. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Morris outside. Carr sets a screen. Crosses over. Four on the shot clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Consistent at the line. But Carr would like to get that number above 80%. Shooting for Utah. And At the line for two. That's good from Carr. And the Jazz making a change here. Keefe's checked in. Johnson, he's checked in for Seattle. And uh, Seattle shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. Got a piece of it. Pass to Farmer. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. The pass to Morris. Shot clock at six. Clark sets a screen. Charity stripe shot. No good on that one. And it's Seattle the other way. Wingate against Morris. Puts up a three. And once again off the mark by Seattle. The Jazz shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. Launches it. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Askew, guarded by Keith. Oh, man, clearly letting his emotions get the better of him in that situation. Yeah, this game isn't going their way, but a foul like that is only going to make matters worse. Malone's checked in for Carr. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Passes to Farmer. Inside, down to five on the shot clock. And slam dunk by Johnson. Gave that slam a little extra. Yep, he dropped every jaw with that finish. That might be the best dunk from him I've ever seen. Simply amazing. Kicks it to Malone. To the paint. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Easy for the big man Keith to get up and flush it down. And it's Seattle with the ball. Wingate passes to Burkowski. Johnson with it. Picked up by Malone. Unloads from nine. Keeps it alive. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Did not give up on the play. 
fantastic energy, which is what you show on all of these plays, Clark. Fantastic energy. Yeah. Great job, though, following up that shot. Hey, man. Yeah, he turned a miss into a make. And Malone, no good on that one. As the youngest of nine children, Malone had to be strong growing up. And that physicality is clearly translated to the basketball court. Here's Anderson. Pass to Jahir. Back to Anderson. Wants to get it to Malone and does. And they convert it last on attempt number three. Malone's got four this quarter. Wingate passes to Burkowski. Here's Askew. Pass to Farmer. Here's Wingate. Rebound, Utah. Here's DeHare. And there's the feed to Malone. And the pass to Jahir. Good, and it's Malone picking up the assist. Jahir has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The Supersonics have gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Shoots. Seattle missing again. And here's Malone. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Passes it to Jahir. For three. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. It took a minute, but they found their form. This run's making the deficit look a lot more manageable. Still going to take a lot of work, but it's not impossible. It's going to take plays at both ends of the floor and a bunch of them. And now we'll take a moment for our presentation of our player of the game, Sean Kemp. They continued to feed him throughout the game with good reason. They realized he was hot, had the hot hand, and they wanted to ride that. And he refuses to let them down, coming through at every turn. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. It takes a lot of pride in getting his teammates some touches. Schwerf notches the assist there. Now Stockton. And here are the Jazz now. They're on a 16-6 run. To the wing right side. Russell from long range. It's all in. by the Sonics. Shrunk's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Perkins, the pass to McMillan. On the wing, Peyton. He's covered by Stockton. That one drops for him. I think that's what Peyton does best, attack. Go at defenders and finish drives. Utah has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And Gary Payton is going to pick up the foul. Gary Payton. That will get him his fourth foul of the game for the Jazz. Keith is checked in for Ostertag. And it's Anderson in for Ornison. On defense, Seattle. Here's Malone. Oh, man. Oh, the big man. Putting some extra spice on that one. Malone with the explosive jam. Baden outside. Pass to McMillan. The tray. And it's Malone with the rebound. For Utah, they've gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Then some solid looks for them. Stockton with no one around him. From outside, off the mark. Baden against Anderson. Outside, Baden. Shot clock at five. He kicks to Shrimp. From deep. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. A terrific jump shooter. I like how they use Shrimp in this offense. Here is Stockton. Pass to Malone. 
Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Utah. Free throw drops for Malone. Carr, he's checked in for Utah. Both shots good from the strike. Seattle has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Johnson sends the screen for Peyton. Out to the right wing. Here's McMillan. And the three off target. Utah shooting and hitting almost everything here in the fourth, up around 58% from the field. Stocked in dishes to Anderson. And stolen by Perkins. One on one here. And Peyton gets it to go on the assist by Shrimp. 19 points for Gary Payton. Well, I love how they attack there. Get it inside, add two more. The Jazz shooting around 36%. They're just not able to finish consistently. Looking to end his cold spell. Rebounded by the Super Sonics. Payton's got five rebounds tonight. Johnson outside. Beyond the arc, intercepted. And here's Carr. Outside, Malone. To the inside, Keith. And he uses the glass on the lane. Keith's got four points this quarter. The defense has to be aware and know that Keith is going to attack inside. That's where he operates best. Peyton outside. Dishes it to Perkins. The rebound by Malone. Malone's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Making it look easy right now. When Malone catches fire, he's hard to put out. Outside, Perkins. Back to Peyton. Up top, Shrimp. Carr covering, takes the turnaround J, and the basket by Shrimp. Winning in strong fashion. A relentless effort notches a W for the Supersonics. Clark, it seemed like they did everything well tonight. Yeah, you could point to a lot of things. You could talk game plan, you could talk execution, but they were just a more talented team. That's what the deal was. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Sean Kemp. On a roll offensively, he's been in the zone. Stockton outside. 44 seconds left in the game. And yes, it's good. Stockton will drive it, but he also can pull up, too. Very personal when he's got the ball in his hands. Peyton kicks to Shrimp. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. And with this last run, they have shut the door on any chance of a comeback. Shut the door, turned off the lights, and locked it up. Fantastic run for them to end the game. Stockton finds Malone. Kept alive. Johnson with the block. Now, here's Peyton. He feeds it to Perkins. Shrev passes to Johnson. On the wing, Peyton. Fires the three. Offline. So no problem for Seattle as they get the win. It takes physical and mental toughness, Clark, to win on the road. Man, they crushed it. They sure did. And, you know, in terms of...